How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to start a YouTube channel in 5 minutes and get you on your way to becoming a YouTuber. This video is for those who want to start a channel but haven't done so yet. If you're thinking of starting one then stop procrastinating, the time is now. If you're not sure what type of channel to start or the type of niche you want to go into then stay tuned to the end for some YouTube channel ideas that will blow up in the next few years and ones that will always remain popular. So let's get into it. Firstly, set up a Gmail account. YouTube is owned by Google, so you need a Gmail account to access it. It's super easy, so I won't go into how to do it. Ideally, you should keep this email private. So when your channel blows up and you get famous, you don't want your email spammed or even targeted by hackers. Also, make sure you have two-factor authentication set up on your email in case the email and password is compromised. You can always set up a public email later on for things like business inquiries or general contact information, but this email will be separate from your contact information, so that negates a certain amount of risk. So, once you have your email set up, head over to YouTube, log in with your email if you haven't already done so, Click on the profile picture in the top right hand corner, click create a channel, then get started. Your creator journey begins. Now you have two options. You can use the name on your Google account or use a custom account. I purposely created a Gmail account with the name of the channel I wanted, so I will select the first one. However, you can create a channel using a brand or other name and picture. Select the one that applies to you. Your channel has been created. Now we need to upload a profile picture. This appears next to your videos, comments and other places. The picture needs to be 800 by 800 pixels in either PNG, GIF, BMP, JPEG or a non-animated GIF. I just used a PNG. I created one in Canva. I made a YouTube video about how to do that. Check that out. It's called how to make profile pictures that stand out. I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to watch it afterwards. After that, then add in your channel description and any links to your website or social media profiles. Click save and continue and that's it. You now have a channel set up. Congratulations. You can go right ahead and upload your first video if you have one created. However, there are a few more things you need to do to customize your channel and get ready for monetization. Click on customize channel in the top right, then click add channel art. This is the art that gets displayed in the top banner of your YouTube channel. The recommended channel art is 2560 by 1440. Again, you can just create this in Canva. They have plenty of ready-made templates in the correct size that you can use. I'll just add one that I already made and they will show you what it looks like on desktop tv and mobile just click select and then that will be done if you click on the youtube studio this is where you can manage your channel the analytics tab will show you vital stats about your channel you can keep an eye on that when you start to get some views if you want to make money from your youtube channel the most important stats you need to keep your eye on are the subscribers and watch hours Luckily, there is a separate tab that will show you these two metrics. Click on monetization on the left hand side and you can monitor your progress. To get into the YouTube partner program, your channel needs 4000 public watch hours in the last 12 months and 1000 subscribers. Your channel will then be reviewed before it is accepted. Now, the last thing we need to do is click notify me when I'm eligible and then you'll get an email and you'll be on your way. In my case, it took one year and four months to reach 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. I actually reached the watch hours before I achieved the subs. Some people could do this a lot quicker if you have a viral video. Some others, it may take longer. It all depends on your content. I think I published around 60 videos before I was eligible for monetization. And it was one of the videos that I published six months previously that started to pick up some traction and that's what really helped me get my watch hours 
and my subscribers so all it takes is one video and it might not happen straight away but you post a video in three four five six or eight months time that video could blow up so don't get disheartened if you post a video or after a week you're hardly getting any views or after a month is hardly getting any views people want to watch it it could blow up a few months down the line it's impossible to compare yourself with other channels because every channel is different and every niche is different so just because you're progressing faster or slower than others it doesn't mean that you won't get there you just have to stick at it feel free to browse the rest of the dashboard to get familiar with it however the most important thing now is to start publishing videos if you've got to this stage you probably already know what type of content you want to make if you don't then check out these youtube channel ideas that will blow up in the next few years ideally you should start a channel in a niche area that you're familiar with and drill down into that area and keep publishing videos around the same topic this will help boost your other videos for search terms related to that topic this list is in no particular order you can do tech reviews which will always be popular people like to see a review or unboxing video before buying a product you may think this area is oversaturated however you have something nobody else has that's your own opinion so if you share your opinion people may want to hear it when i'm looking to buy a product something big like a laptop tv or phone i don't just watch one review i watch multiple reviews from different people to get a good understanding of the product and i want to hear other people's opinions i don't just rely on one person's opinion also on youtube these people may might be paid to post a positive review so having multiple reviews is good if you make quality informative videos you can build an audience in this area i won't go into all of these in detail but online tutorials is another area that's growing significantly which is great because it's democratizing education with youtube you can learn practically anything from anywhere in the world so if you have a particular knowledge around a specific field or software you can share your knowledge with the world and people will watch it another growing area is home workouts more and more people are working from home and so need a way to exercise from home if you are into health and fitness you can start a channel around this again with all of these top level subjects you could drill down into specific subcategories like for example yoga to relieve back pain or workouts with no equipment or fat burning workouts or building muscle focus on one specific area of fitness and then you can build a channel around that area another channel idea growing in popularity is home tidying or cleaning hacks this has recently been popularized by mary kondo in the usa and Mrs. Hinch in the UK. They have gained huge followings by showing people how to make use of space, unclutter their homes, and how to do different cleaning hacks. These are both educational and motivational, and with a lot more people spending time at home, this is quite a useful thing to have. There are a few other ideas here that will always remain popular. I mean, you can see the list, and you've probably come across channels like this. You just need to figure out what you want to do and then go ahead and do it. So there you go, a video on how to properly set up your YouTube channel and some YouTube channel ideas if you're not too sure. If you found this video useful, let me know in the comments and feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.